Hi, story time friends. Welcome to online story time with the Red Bank Public Library. I'm Miss Sierra, and we're gonna have a good story time today. I'm gonna read some stories about bedtime mm, games. Do you ever read stories at bedtime? I hope that you do. You know how much I love stories. Do you ever um, sing songs at bedtime or play games at bedtime? Um, maybe you do. The stories I read today will give you a clue. Let's start by singing a song right now. What shall we sing? How about, you know what we haven't sung in a really long time that you should be practicing? The ABCs. Will you sing the ABCs with me? Let's do it. Ready? One, two, three. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? I hope so. I hope you were singing with me this time. Hey, I'm gonna read my first story as a fun new book I got from the library that made me wanna have this story time. It's called Friday Night Wrestlefest by J.F. Fox. Friday Night Wrestlefest? Let's see what this is all about. Here we go. It says, ladies and gentlemen, it's Friday night. Oh boy, can you hear the train? It's a little noisy today in my house. That's right, school is out. Dinner was pizza. Yum. And best of all, it's time for dun, da, da, dun, Friday Night Wrestle Fest. Main event, battle to the bedtime. Hmm, what does that mean? Somebody doesn't want to go to bed? In this corner, it's Dangerous Dadu. He's mad, he's bad, he's dad. And over on the kid crew, we have the tag team twins featuring Nutty by Nature Peanut Brother and Wriggly Giggly Jellyfish. Oh, with special guest star, Big Bald Baby. <laughs> Let's get ready to wrestle. Kicking things off tonight is Jellyfish. She lands a jumping jelly flop on poor old Pop. Now Peanut Butter Brothers piling it on with a blasting butter bump. Ah, they're jumping on dad. Yes, sir, Reed Dangerous Daddy is smack dab in a wham bam jam slam witch. Peanut Butter Brother and Jelly. The tides and tentacles quickly turn. Dangerous Daddy snatches jellyfish in a squishy squid squeeze. Ten tickles, did you say? Tickle, 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 tickle. Peanut Brother spins in to help his sis with a swirling shark clone. Totally jawsome. Whoa, these kids are serious, right? Dangerous Dadu fights back, dishing out some seriously slobby codfish kisses. <laughs> Did somebody order the fish and lips? 
but hold the tartar sauce. What's going on? Do you see someone coming through the door? From out of nowhere, flying mom bomb. That's right, folks. The one and only Mama Rama has entered the ring. She's home from work and she's going berserk. Yay, mom. Are two grown-ups too many for the tag team twins? Does this mean Betty bye-bye for the kid crew? Dangerous Dadu, looks like he's got this one in the bag. But hold the banana phone. Could it be? Mama Rama is joining forces with the kid crew. Dangerous Dadu's been double-crossed. It's a perfect parent trap. Bedtime looks bleak. Dadu is da done. Isn't this funny? Ladies and gentlemen, nothing can save him now. Nothing except Big Bald Baby and a clear the room diaper of doom. <gasps> <laughs> I think baby won. Well, after a quick bedtime blitz of jammy jam, put their pajamas on, a brush and flush, brush your teeth and go to the bathroom, a book and tuck, gotta have story time. This Wrestle Fest has officially become a Nestle Fest. Everybody's in bed. It's Friday night. Lights out for the kid crew. Good night from the arena. Until next week's Friday night Wrestle Fest. They're telling me to be quiet. Okay, okay. You guys should all go to sleep now. That was too much fun. The end. I like that book. It was so fun. Does your family ever wrestle around with each other? That's kind of a lot of action before bedtime, I think. But it does help you get your energy out so you can lay down and rest and go to sleep. How about we do a rhyme that will end up asleep like that, okay? Let's do this one. Um, make your book, here we go. Here's our book, open it wide and look at all the pictures you have inside. Now make your ball that's big and round and throw it in the air. Catch it and roll it on the ground. Okay, now make an umbrella and hold it up high to catch all the raindrops that fall from the sky. And now make a roof and now make a bed where we snuggle in tight and rest our head. Wake up because I just thought of another rhyme that we haven't done in a while, but it's hard for me to do when I'm sitting down. You gotta do it. It's Teddy Bear, Teddy Bear. That's a fun one, ready? Teddy Bear, Teddy Bear, turn around. Turn around. Teddy Bear, Teddy Bear, touch the ground. Touch the ground. Teddy Bear, Teddy Bear, reach up high. Teddy bear, teddy bear, touch the sky. Yes, okay. Teddy bear, teddy bear, go upstairs. Okay, teddy bear, teddy bear, comb your hair. <sighs> okay, teddy bear, teddy bear, turn off the light. 
doink. Teddy bear, teddy bear, say good night. Good night. Wake up time again. I have another good bedtime story, bedtime game. Do you ever play this one? When I read you the title, you'll know exactly what it is. This Little Piggy. This one is by Tim Harrington. Do you ever play this game with your little toes? <laughs> or somebody else's toes? Okay, let's give it a try. This one is cute too. I hope you like feet, because there's a lot of feet in this book. Here we go. This little piggy went to market. When I play this game, I like to sing it, okay? This little piggy went to market. This little piggy stayed home. This little piggy had roast beef. And this little piggy had none. Aww. Know what happens, right? But this little piggy went wee 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 all the way home but it says on the other foot hmm, this little piggy dug dancing and this little piggy flew planes this little piggy sold hot dogs and this little piggy loved paints. And this little piggy built a spaceship and flew to outer space where he found a planet of green jelly creatures that taught him how to eat Martian marshmallows and play gravity tag and catch asteroid beetles. He started a successful robot repair shop and on days off, he rode the solar slides. Wee, 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 all the way home. What? That was crazy. All those crazy piggies made the market visiting roast beef enjoying wee, wee, weeing piggies want to do more fun stuff too. And so... Look, S-O spells so. This little piggy had a costume party. And this little piggy chewed gum. Blowing a bubble. This little piggy raced go-karts. And this little piggy played drums. Ba-bam! And this little piggy was secretly Super Toe, the world's greatest hero, faster than a race car. He could blow out birthday candles from a mile away and fly high above the clouds. And once he saved a leaky tugboat with a super bubble. And when a giant smelly sock attacked the city, Super Toe used his tickle powers to send it all the way home. Oh my goodness. Which is why now all the little piggies are just totally tired out and really want a good night's sleep. Can you see them yawning? And here's our word. So, what's gonna happen now? This little piggy's all dozy. That means sleepy. And this little piggy gets clean. This little piggy reads stories. Yay! And this little piggy brushes teeth. And this little piggy goes Z, 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 Z. All the way to sleep. The end. Do you see this little piggy 
has a little <laughs> stuffed piggy that he's sleeping with. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. Because I was just going to show you the stuffed animals that we still have in my house. Look at this. This is Giraffe. And this little giraffe has been around here for a long time. And this little guy is even older. This is Zaboomafu. He's named after a show that my daughter used to love to watch. And Zaboomafu and Giraffe still sleep in beds in this house every night. So what stuffed animals do you like to sleep with? Do you have something that you like to sleep with? Or maybe a special blanket that you like to sleep with? Guess what? You don't have to grow out of those. You can keep them for a long, long time because they're special to you. And they make you feel cozy and comfy when it's time to go to bed, right? Right. So give them an extra snuggle tonight. Maybe you can play this little piggy with your stuffed animal or with your little sister or brother or even with one of the grown-ups in your house. That would be funny. All right, my friends. I hope you have a wonderful day. Why don't we sing one more song before we pack it in? What should we sing? Uh, um, how about one, two, buckle my shoe? We haven't done that in a while. That's another little game we could play. You ready? Here we go. One, two, buckle my shoe. Three, four, shut the door. Five, six. Pick up your sticks. Seven, eight, lay them straight. And nine, ten, we do it again. Here we go. One, two, buckle my shoe. Three, four, shut the door. Five, six, pick up some sticks. Seven, eight, lay them straight. And nine, 10, do a big fat hen. All right. <clears throat> I made a lot of funny noises today. I hope you have a fabulous day. I hope you read a story today and do something else that's fun. Get outside and get some fresh air. All right. I'll see you next time. Bye, friends.